The fans have voted, the members have voted, and now the inductees have been announced. Introducing the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Class of 2024. That's next on Track by Track. Hey everybody, my name is Kyle and this is Track by Track, music reviews, news, and commentary. Thanks for tuning in today and if this is your first time here, please take a second to click subscribe so you won't miss future reviews and more. Well, here we go. The 2024 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees have finally been announced and there is literally something for everyone. Well, that is to say, something for everyone to love and something for everyone to hate. I'm about to run through all of this year's inductees, but before I do, let's recap the nominees from back in February. This year, we had 15 nominees for the illustrious performer category, one more than last year. The list was dominated by first-time nominees taking up 10 of the slots. And among the five repeat nominations, only A Tribe Called Quest is a carryover from 2023. Also noteworthy is the fact that there were no country acts nominated for 2024. All right, now that we've reviewed who was in the running, let's get to the winners. Eight of the nominated acts have been announced to be inducted into the Rock Hall in the performer category, and they are Mary J. Blige, Cher, Dave Matthews Band, Foreigner, Peter Frampton, Cool and the Gang, Ozzy Osbourne, and A Tribe Called Quest. All right, as I said, this is quite a diverse mix of acts. We've got contemporary and classic rock, metal, pop, R&B, and rap. Only two women on the list this go-around, which is a little surprising, but still, solid picks. But before we go deeper into the performer inductees, let's also quickly run through the acts being inducted in other categories. In the category of musical influence, we have blues icons Alexis Corner, John Mayall, and Big Mama Thornton. Three great picks, and if you're anything like me, you're pretty excited to see Mayall finally get his due. And then in the musical excellence category, we have Jimmy Buffett, MC5, Dionne Warwick, and Norman Whitfield. Again, what a great mix. If you saw my nominees video back in February, you may remember me lamenting about Jimmy Buffett not being nominated. So this is a welcome surprise. Dionne Warwick has been nominated twice in the past, so it's nice to see her recognized. And Motown legend Norman Whitfield as well. But the big news is, of course, MC5, who have been nominated six times before. It sucks that they didn't get voted into the performer category, as they deserve to be, but I'm glad the Rock Hall is getting them in there just the same. Speaking of the performers category, let's contrast this year's inductees with the fan vote results. Always interesting to see where the Rock Hall and the fans diverge, but check this out. Out of the top seven acts in the fan vote, only one did not make the cut for induction. Sorry, Lenny, maybe next year. But of course, we had Dave Matthews Band winning the fan vote yet again in 2024, just like they did in 2020. Honestly, it would be a pretty big embarrassment for the Rock Hall if DMB had won the fan vote and been snubbed twice. So I'm not surprised to see them being inducted. Taking a look at the bottom half of the fan vote, we find the other two inductees in the 13th and 14th place. Now, I know rap and R&B are a controversial subject when it comes to the Rock Hall, and I'm not surprised to see them rank so low on the fan vote. But I'm also not surprised to see them get voted in anyway. Well, to be fair, I did predict that Mariah Carey would be inducted instead of Mary J. Blige. No slight to Mary J., I just think that Mariah has been one of the most iconic female singers of the past four decades. Truth be told, I'd expect both of them to be inducted at some point, and although this was Carey's first nomination, it's the second nod for Mary J. Blige, so in a sense, she's sort of paid her dues. So has A Tribe Called Quest coming off their third nomination in three straight years, I did correctly predict that they'd make the cut this time. I know they're a track-by-track -track audience favorite as well, so big congrats to them. And how about big congrats to Ozzy Osbourne, too? He's one of my longtime snub picks, someone I think is long overdue for induction as a solo artist. Since he was previously inducted with Black Sabbath, he now joins the prestigious Two-Timers Club. 
Then there's classic rock icon Peter Frampton. Shockingly, this was his first ever Rock Hall nomination. You may recall he performed with Sheryl Crow when she was inducted last year. I hate to think that's what it took to get the voters' attention, but who knows? Again, a highly influential act, long overdue for recognition. Admittedly, I did not predict he'd make the cut, nor did I predict Cool and the Gang. And in both cases, a lot of viewers strongly disagreed. I'm genuinely happy for both acts, though, and I think there's a good chance Cool and the Gang's performance at the induction ceremony may be one of the highlights of the night. But how about Cher? I definitely think she's more than worthy. Similar to Tina Turner, I think it's great to see her get inducted as a solo woman rather than tied to her prior act as part of a troubled duo. But of course, Cher has also notoriously shit-talked the Rock Hall in recent years. That's pretty on brand for her, and if you think about it, pretty rock and roll as well. Obviously, it didn't scare away the Rock Hall voters. Now let's see if she actually shows up to accept. Finally, let's talk about Foreigner. Out of all of this year's nominees, they're arguably the favorite of the track-by-track -track audience. In my countdown of the biggest Rock Hall snubs, according to my viewers, Foreigner ranked number three, higher than any other act nominated this year. Notoriously, Rolling Stone magazine publisher and Rock Hall executive Jan Wenner hated Foreigner, allegedly saying it would be a cold day in hell before they got into the Rock Hall. But Wenner was rather shamefully ousted from the Rock Hall ranks in 2023, and clearly the new guard doesn't share his aversion to foreigners. Aided in no small part by a high-profile all-star campaign pushing for their induction, I can't say I'm at all surprised to see them announced as part of the class of 2024. All right, well, let me wrap things up by once again expressing my bottom line opinion about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a whole, which is that ultimately nominations and inductions are based on an imperfect system. There's no shortage of music fans that absolutely despise it as an institution, not to mention a number of artists as well. As for me, and you've probably heard me say this multiple times before, I just don't take it all that seriously. In most cases, I tend to agree that the acts inducted are worthy of recognition, some much more or much less than others. But it is undeniable that there are many, many more that are also worthy but continue to be overlooked. But I also have to admit that I always enjoy the annual Rock Hall debate over the nominees, the inductees, and of course, the snubs. The key word here is enjoy, because that's the whole point of music, isn't it? I honestly don't let any of it make me angry, because it's just not worth it. And regardless, I always look forward to watching the ceremony itself, which always guarantees at least a few great one-of-a-kind performances. This year, the ceremony returns to the Rock Hall's home in Cleveland, Ohio, to be live-streamed on both Hulu and Disney Plus on October 19th. It should be a night to remember, regardless of where you stand on the annual debate over who's in and who's been snubbed. But as always, I welcome your comments on the subject. Do you agree with this year's winners? How do you feel about the extra categories? Who do you think is the biggest snub? And is there anyone in the class of 2024 that you think hasn't earned their spot? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Once again, my name's Kyle, and this has been Track by Track. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Plus, check out some of these other videos below that I think you might also enjoy. And of course, be sure to click subscribe, because true music fans always want new releases the day they come out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.